All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. It's Football Sunday, but first, we're going to play a little magic. I kind of like these pre-Football Sunday streams. Let me know what you all think of that uh, timing-wise. kind of works out well. You know, get your morning going on Sunday, watch a little stream, watch a little football. We might be getting our Christmas tree today. I might be doing that tomorrow, though. We're not really sure yet. But no one cares about our Christmas tree. They care about historic. It is the last day of a ladder. The last day. 20, I guess not technically the last day. There's 28 hours remaining. So if you're going to be all, uh, you know, whatever specific on me. No! Uh, yeah, but we got some uh, we got some historic to play today. We got a really fun one. Um, I pulled the general idea of this deck from a uh, an SCG Tour satellite. Um, but I made a significant amount of changes. And it seems pretty sweet. We have a, a Bant Company deck here in a Stork. And based around the party mechanic. And, of course, the party mechanic, not the hugest hit in Constructed. I've tried it a lot, personally. It, it is pretty fun. But... Party mechanic, of course, for those who don't know, is the mechanic based around having um, one of each creature in your party, a warrior, a cleric, a rogue, and a wizard. And instead of having like a goblin deck where you play all goblins, you have a deck where you care about assembling one member of each party. So for example, squad commander, you get a, a token for each party member. And being in combat, if you have a full party, all four types, you get to get a, a bonus. So squad commander is a payout for party. Uh, Linvala. As a payoff, payoff for party, we get to uh, we get to uh, detain one of their creatures. We get uh, trap finder here, little party action, and uh, the biggest ones are arch priest of Iona, which can be a four two for one, which is awesome, and it can also give a creature flying, which is also awesome. So any board stall, it's huge, and typically a board stall is a lot of creatures. So you're likely to have a full party, and concerted defense here is the super stubborn denial. Um, this card seems awesome. Uh, counter your Nissa for one mana. Counter your Wrath of God. No Supreme Verdict in uh, in Historic. Only actual Wrath of God. So you can counter that. Uh, this card seems phenomenal for one mana. It looks really, really cool. Uh, we got Pell Collector. Green also gives us uh, Tajuru Paragon, which is uh, our Shapeshifter for Cleric. It's a 3-2 for 2 with Shapeshifter. So it counts as all the types. It can't fill your whole party, but it can fill one of the roles. You still have to have four of these in play to have a full party. But it also has Kicker where you can just draw a card, basically, which is great. And um, we got Rogue Refiner here. No energy, just Rogue Refiner. 3-2 Rogue, draw a card, pretty cool. We get some good pickups too from Historic in Deputy of Detention. Uh, no Reflector Mage yet. No Reflector Mage yet, but Deputy's a very, very good card. It's a wizard, which is kind of a hard type. Um, so Deputy's awesome. We get Borrower for a Rogue, Hollowblade for a Warrior. Um, we're a little light on Clerics. Our only Clerics are Archpriest and Paragon. But otherwise, a pretty good spread here. We have Warrior, Warrior... Rogue, 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 Wizard, Wizard, uh, and then Warrior on Squad Commander. And of course, pulling it all together is like Collect the Company. Um, I've said in Modern that um, basically any reasonable collection of creatures plus Collect the Company is at least mildly playable because Company is just that good. So we're a Company deck, and uh, our mana base is fine. We got some duels, we got some, uh, some pathways, all very reasonable. Sideboard, obviously creature focused because we're playing a, a Company deck. Remorseful Cleric is a Cleric, it's Graveyard 8. Middle Mage is a wizard. You can name Muxus or other stuff like that. Skyclave is not tribal, but just a really good card against like sacrifice and stuff. Fourth Deputy, when, when that's good. Knight's just good by itself. And then Yarsharans is also good by itself. So not everything's super party, but uh, I don't know. Deck just seems sweet. What do y'all think? We're also playing I Am Legend today. Look for that one. And um, let's just go. Let's just go. Start a party. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Party, 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 party. Medley Mage not worth a main deck spot? I don't think so. Um, the body's pretty mopey. We don't really plump... Like, like, humans, like, pumps it up. You know, we don't really use the body super well. And uh, it is pretty fragile, so... All right. Decent hand here. Decent hand. Uh, we can keep this. Three lands, one drop, two drop, company. Pretty solid. 
a little scared of sacrifice deck, so hopefully our opponent's not playing a sacrifice deck. Kind of sick of uh, of Mayhem Devil, honestly. Sheltered Thicket, go. Hmm. Interesting. Pelt Collector, come on down. Let's see what Sheltered Thicket's up to over here. What deck plays Sheltered Thicket? Morning, everyone. What's up, Adam? What's up, Mystic, Pyrojack, Suffa, Alien, Ropeburn, Lord Draken, Bobo. How's it going, everyone? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's go, let's go. Oh, no. Red Horde Butcher. Oh, fresh meat. Um, that sucks. Is they're playing Sacrifice of some kind? Alright. I kind of like, uh... Just getting Pelt Collectors going here. I mean, making this a 2-2 is not bad. We can block. The Hollowblade blocks pretty well, too. Um... Kind of like plotting out our Pelt Collector turns here. This thing's unblockable. Unfortunately, Mayhem Devil is just going to destroy us because we have a lot of one toughness creatures. So getting our collectors up to 3-3 is pretty good. So that does mean we're playing on a really awkward curve, though. Which is, I guess we could just go like Hollow Blade here and then Pelt Collector Trap Finder next turn. That means these are only going to be 2-2s, two though. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta pump it up though. All right, let's go. Hollow blade. Um, and then attacking here is not great, but we'll have to waste the removal spell on the hollow blade to get it through. We're just gonna attack. Let's kill him. They're blocking. They're blocking. Now the interesting thing is. All right, they're gonna they're just gonna kill the collector. Sure, so that's fine. Trade one for one. We didn't get we didn't get uh, hit too bad with the butcher. I didn't do it. Wasn't me. Butcher again. And which is that one? That's kind of gross. So, now we block. I guess we just block and see what they do. If we discard a card to make it indestructible, they can just sacrifice the Butcher and then ping it. I might just trade here, honestly. And it's not worth discarding two cards to save this. We'll just, we'll just trade. Because the problem is, if we discard a card here to give it indestructible, they know their Butcher's going to die anyway, so they'll just sack it to the oven, get a food, and then ping it again. So, we're just going to let this happen. Fine. Uh, we don't draw an untapped land, which kind of sucks because we want we want to get um we want to get our company down on turn four. So we probably want to play glass pool mimic as a land. It's kind of tough. And again, everything is really really weak to uh to mayhem devil. Mayhem devil is stupid. Um, all right, let's just play, Man. I guess we could just jam our card, maybe just try and draw a land, play Pug Collector, play Trap Finder, yeah, I'm playing Nimble Trap Finder, big whoop, want to fight about it, eh, eh, Whoa. That's not too bad. Land for company? No, but not bad, honestly. Um, so whenever a uh, a party member comes into play, this is unblockable, which is cool. We get to Pelt Collector up here to three. And then if it dies, it pumps this. This is pretty cool, actually. So we get to play Pelt Collector. Play Hollow Blade. Pump them both up. That triggers the... Uh, this fact. Oh, we're playing an updated version of I Am Legend. And then we get to attack with both of these. This is unblockable. And then this is a 3-3. If they want to block the Strider on the Pellet Collector and it dies, then this thing becomes a 3-3, which is pretty cool. So and then we're just playing Mimic and playing Company. Sure. 
That's also fun. This thing has beginning of combat, your turn, if you have a full party, creatures you control gain. Whenever it does damage to a player, draw a card. At, so that's pretty cool. Say so sack, which is fine. Basri? I don't think Basri is very good. It's okay, I guess. It's kind of cool with Hardikirin, I guess. You can, like, pump the Hardikirin, but... Alright, I'm we'll play this as land. And we're saying go. Just don't play Mayhem Devil. That's all I ask. Claim the Firstborn is annoying, but not that bad. But Mayhem Devil is just... Just not what we want to see. Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper! And they're just going to sack it immediately? They're desperate to draw land here, I guess. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they are dead. Oh, let's go. Uh, we're just going to main phase company and get our party going here. When it's time to party, you know we will party hard. Blazing uh, Ball or Paragon? Uh, what do we got here? We got Warrior, Rogue, Warrior. So we need two types here. That's also a rogue. We should get Paragon, Paragon then. For a full party. And we're gonna attack. Everything has draw card when it hits them, which is awesome. I know, beating Jun with a creature deck is quite a, we got, we got a unicorn here. We got a unicorn. We're beating Jun right now with a creature deck. So difficult. All right, so we're gonna draw three cards and deal eight damage. I like that. All right, draw a card, draw a card, draw a card. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Didn't draw a blue source, unfortunately, uh, for defense, which kind of sucks. But I think we're gonna be okay here. I think we're gonna be okay. So we have Yash Yasharin in the board. To help with this matchup, Skyclave Apparition will help too. Oh yeah! Alright, so we'll take that one. Uh, Skyclave's coming in. Deputy is like fine. I guess we gotta deal with their stuff. And then Yasharn is great. Um, I would say our X1s are pretty bad. So like Nimble Trap Finder probably should go. And then. I don't think Brazen Borrower is that good either. The body's pretty irrelevant, and then it's just like bouncing things isn't very good. All our stuff is cheap. And then what's our last cut? This concerted defense isn't very good against them. Aether Gust hits uh, Mayhem Devil, which is definitely their best card, but seems pretty mopey otherwise. I guess Knight of Autumn's good too, right? You can kill ovens. Maybe defense is bad. It's Corvold too. It's true. It's true. We don't know if they have company in their deck or not. Um, do I want Knight of Autumn? is the big question here, I think. Kills ovens. I don't think so. I think we're gonna rock with this. What's up, big pasty? Looking real good. Thank you. I do look pretty good, if I do say so myself. Hits Coco and Butcher. That's true, it's Butcher. That's 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 fair. That's fair. Hitting Butcher's kind of big game. Uh, we can keep this. Yeah, Butcher's a pretty big hit. That's that's very fair. All right. Um, I think we're gonna go. Uh, oh, Trail of Crumbs too. Yeah, I, we should run the the things. I'm stupid. Um, I think we're gonna go Temple Gardens. You can go Puck Collector on one, Arch Priest on two, Tap Land. We'll try and maybe play this on five if we can get some value off of it. So let's do Temple Garden. Play Puck Collector. Say go. Adam resub. Thanks so much. Yeah, it was a Coco one, then a non Coco one. Um, I 
Tap land, Cauldron Familiar, sure. Another power go. Sure, so play this. It'll have two power. Pump this up. Play this tapped. This card's good. Archpriest is quite good. The next turn we can Deputy also. That's a good Deputy target. Don't fear the Reaper! So, uh, green, deputy, pop off the reaper, attack for a five ball, then next turn we're going to have, uh, we have warrior, cleric, wizard, we'll decide what we're going to do, we could have a full party if we want it, but we might want a scout squad commander. Whoa! Skyclave that version? Um, I mean, Skyclaving the Woe Strider is pretty good, right? We're just going to beat again. It's not really, like, super great for our curve, but I know, right? I'm wearing my Jet shirt. I, I actually am starting Ryan Fitzpatrick in my, my Fantasy League and my DraftKings lineup against the Jets today. So, all right. Um... We play Squad Commander. We pump Pell Collector. Yeah. The mic is popping. You're popping. I'm gonna Skyclave here. We'll just keep this Roast Rider. We we'll just keep the board empty and keep it tagging. The microphone is popping. Check. One, two. Check, check, check. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not clipping. I'm kind of excited to watch the... Uh, the uh, what team was it? Whoever's playing the Saints, all of their quarterbacks have COVID or something. So they're starting like their like practice squad wide receiver at the Broncos. Their practice squad wide receiver at quarterback, which is just freaking awesome. Um, he's a wide receiver in fantasy. Whoa, hold on, timeout, timeout. What we'll after this game we're gonna check that? I doubt that it's still there, but you hear click check check check. It's the way it should be. That's really weird. I don't know why I'd be doing that, honestly. This happened once in a video, and we couldn't understand why. All right. Anyway, I gotta, uh, I gotta put magic here. Um, we can paragon while the full party and give something flying and just like kill them, basically. Draw a card. We can just squad commander and just try and get him next turn. And yeah, just squad commander. Like everything. Damage tokens. And I think we said in... No. Because Skyclave would trade with the Woe Strider and then give them a 3-3, a three, three, but that's fine because we don't want to have a We got him! Game. Lousies. We beat Rakdos Sacrifice with a creature deck and not even any creature deck. A mopey creature deck. 1-0. 1-0. Pawn can't party. pawn has got no idea how to party. Oh, let's go. Hopefully we filled our, our, uh, our Mayhem Devil Potion for the day. That's dope. That's dope. We got a lot of viewers today. How's it going, everyone? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Happy morning. Listen, however bad your life is, it could be worse. You could be a Jets fan. All right? Oh boy. Uh, what's up, Andy? Um, we're gonna mulligan the sand. Can't keep this one. That's better. Keep this, ship the mimic. Yeah, sand's fine.
Oh, I didn't check the wipe. Yeah, I have time. All right, I'll check it right now. Hold on. What's the name of that player? What's the name of that quarterback? Kendall Hamilton. Looks like they're already taken. He's not even on here. Uh, end it. He's on waivers. And he's a quarterback. He's not a, he's not a receiver. So. Anyway. Anyway. Nobody cares about that. They care about this. What's up, Dad? Yeah, we're, I'm on ESPN. A little salt eye action. Thoughtseize. Oh, no. We got a mulligan against Thoughtseize. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good either. Oh, boy. All right, we're in trouble. Mulligan against Thoughtseize and Drew, fifth, Drew draw five lands. Big, big trouble. Maybe we should have a Planeswalker or two in our board. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Give me company, please. You gonna push me, too? Just have it all? No. Come on. Come on. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Renegade Rallier? Is Renegade Rallier a rogue? What what creature types are Renegade Rallier? It's a human warrior. Uh, I mean, it, it's okay, but like, it just doesn't trigger super often. We don't have any fetch lands in our deck, so. Oh, they were so dead. This is ridiculous. This is a joke. Inconceivable. Somebody is playing a prank on me. Oh man, come on. We got a party here. Maelstrom Pulse, yeah. That game yesterday was pretty sick. Anyone clipped that game yesterday? We had a game yesterday where we scryed like five lands to the bottom and we drew like six lands in a row. It was actually insane. They should put one more card in the graveyard for, uh, for Euro. There it is. I think we're going to be hitting the old dusty trail here. That's a start. That's a start. Into uh, the wizard. Nope. I'm gonna land. So you get nothing. You lose. Uh, okay, fun game. Fun game. Fun game. All right, so we're gonna bring in. Um, what do you want? Uh, what do you bring in? Deputy's not very good. We want to have some answers to Euro, though. Um, this seems hard. They just have like a bunch of... I guess we want all four defense. To be fair, the company would have hit six lands anyway. That, that's true, actually. That is true. Um, I don't hate Remorseful Cleric. Honestly, they just like kill it and it just nukes their graveyard. Um, yeah, Deputy and Borrower seems bad, too. Like, Deputy only really hits Euro. Yeah. Base camp should come in untapped, and then it should be programmed if you're playing a party deck. You, know, you never draw more than four lands. For sure. For sure. Um, I guess Aether Gust is fine, too. Eh, not really. Medley Mage is, like, pretty mopey. It's going to be really hard to name something properly. Better than deputy though. Deputy's pretty bad. Like they're just gonna kill it and get back whatever they get. 
I guess we have no real answer to a Euro, though. Alright, let's try this. I don't think I want Meddling Mage. I don't think I want Aether Gust either. Let's try this. What's up, Dylan? Teferi Time Raveler, Radley? Uh, that card ain't legal in Historic. Oh, man, come on. What a motley crew. What a motley crew. We just keep. Let's draw any land for Rogue Refiner. I just want a mulligan again. I'm gonna keep. I think we're a dog. I'm gonna play Sanctums too, so we can possibly like defense the Thoughtseize. There you go. There you go. White Source. Um, Archpriest with defense up. I like that. I'm gonna save the cleric for later so we can like actually nuke some cards in the graveyard. Nothing. Nothing. Health collector. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I think we're just playing Rogue Refiner, so. Going shields down on defense, but I imagine they would have cast Thoughtsies if they had it, so. Draw a card, make a rogue. So the Thought Collector, sure. Get some energy. That's very important. Growth Spiral, sure. Okay, Extinction Evented. Euro, okay. See, now we can play Cleric. And if they ever kill it, we get, to, we, get, we get to kill their Euro, so. Let's draw a land here. Ah, oh, alright, that's not that bad. We can do this. Rogue Cleric. Like, Company is by far our best card, but alright, they took the Concerted Defense, which is kind of kind of disconcerting. Um... Like, we just jam. Play Pell Collector, play a Morsel Cleric. Get in for a bop. Like, the Refiner replaced itself. The Cleric gets value if it dies like, and nuke their graveyard. And then they, if they Wrath and I untap and draw a land, I could play the Collector. Yeah, Euro and Mayhem Devil are like my two biggest hates right now. Wow. Uh, okay. SYS, so I agree with uh, with Seth and Kenobi's take on the Magic Online, Magic Arena economy. Yes, the Magic Arena economy is pretty predatory. I did not mean to hit that button. That was not, I was, I'm used to having my thumb on the space bar, so like, I'm, like I was trying to say okay, but I had my thumb on the soundboard instead. I get any better thumb controls. What? Alright, so, um, Swamp is here. Swamp is attacking. That's fine, I guess. They have three cards in hand. Three cards in the graveyard. That's a pretty good draw. Um, I think that plays. Well, now we can, uh, now we can play Paragon, and we'll have a full party. And we can kill this Nyssa, and attack for a decent amount and pump up our stuff and yeah i think this is all pretty good honestly it's just too expensive adam you can go read their articles on it like it just doesn't need to be as expensive as it is basically and it could just be better all right so combat Get to give plus one plus one and flying to a creature. Um, these both trade with this. We're gonna waste a point of damage on the Archpriest if we want to kill Nissa with the Flyers, but I think that's fine. I'm gonna have the Archpriest to live, so.
And they have a kill spell. We have defense, which is awesome. Defense. 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 Great trade here. All right. I mean, kind of feeling awesome about this game. Defense is lined up, ready to roll. We got a full party in play. Crack passage, sure. Now, now they have enough cards for Euro. I think we're going to Cleric them right now so they can't Euro. A land will not forsake you. Warrior, Cleric. Well, I had a, I had a, oh wait. Oh, the rogue died, right. Whatever, we're just gonna freaking kill them anyway. We have a, we have enough party members to make this card really good. Maelstrom Pulse, our one drop. They've already played a land, so they can't play a mass removal spell here. And... Hmm. We're doing it. We're doing it. Um, let's just do it. Let's try and kill them. <laughs> Alright, let's get, um, we've got Cleric, Warrior, everything. So we'll get an everything and an Archpriest. And they're so dead. Pump that. Pump this. Uh, in the air. In the air. Let's go! Uh oh. Hey! Okay. You got me. Cycle Triome, you got me. No, I think, I think discussion is good. I think that, um,. You know, the goal, the problem is the goal of, a, of the arena economy is to make the best game while also making Wizards a good amount of money. There's, you know, the line is here, right? So one side is it's too cheap, so it's really, really fun, but it's not making them enough money. And then one side is they just blast you for money and they lose a lot of players because of it. And they end up making less money in the long run. So it's the whole like, you know, shear a sheep or kill a sheep kind of thing. Uh, I think right now we're like a little over here. We could be a little more in the middle. All right, so um, that game went awesome for us. Um, our defenses were very, very good. Um, our cleric was also great too. And turning off that euro is big game. I kind of want a third cleric in the board. Jam, did you forget to play base camp in your deck? All right, we got this. This is a decent hand. They mulligan, we're keeping, let's go. Hope they mulligan again. Take that euro deck. Mulligan to six. That's a good draw. I feel like Rogue Refiner. Um, Arch Freeze, go get him. Paragon, call that for later. Heh, <laughs> what's up, Conquer? Uh, going green here. There's plenty of white. Just got a hollow blade. Back for two. I mean, just having creatures that can't is pretty good. Euro, sure. No black. Yeah, which is pretty nice. Half a clock, man. Sure. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty nice curve. We're immune, we're not immune to, uh, we're not immune to extinction event, but it's not like the worst. That's, uh, that's the full curve out, I guess. Warrior, rogue, cleric. So we're short a one wizard. You can't wait for the wizard, Frodo. I know what hunts you. Malsion Pulse targeting the one drop. Sure. 
I'll definitely exchange your three mana sorcery to your spell for my one drop. All right, untap and we draw Pelt Collector. Uh, okay. I mean, we're definitely jamming here. We'll just start there. We're not pumping anything, so. Aether Gust, my Rogue Refiner. I'll draw that card again next turn, sure. Take three. We only got two cards left, and they're not even close to Euro yet. We love all of this. We like all of this. Um, I think we just put a lot of cards in play. They only have one black, so they can't languish. And we can beat Extinction Event. Just put, like, Collector, Archpriest, Trap Finder. This is for two. No, let's have, like, that's stupid. I screwed up. I played it backwards. I'm an idiot. I, I'm dumb. This should be a, a three power creature. Uh, obviously, you play the, the the two power thing first, then the archpriest. That was really stupid. Oopsie. There's second black source. Please don't languish me. We're gonna have rogue, cleric, warrior. We put a wizard on the battlefield, and we'll draw a million cards next turn. And we do have a wizard in our hand, so. We will see what they do. We will see what they do. Don't languish me. They so they played passage. They thought for a bit, and now they're saying go. I mean, playing an unkicked paragon here is a pretty big loss. Um, we're losing a lot of value and a lot of curve potential. But it does pump up the squad pretty well, too. What's a full party? So the party mechanic is based on having a cleric, a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard. So it's like tribal, but you need different types. They're the same types. So right now we have a warrior, a warrior, a cleric, and a rogue. We need, we need a wizard to complete our party. And Paragon counts as all of them. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just I'm just gonna do it. it. We'll just do it. I'll just go for it. Just send it, says Cloud Gaming. Aether Gust. That's rude. Uh, all right. It still goes on top, I think. All right, we just jam. You put 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 him put him at two here, so they are still one card short on Euro, so. We still have a bunch of gas, too. It's like, if they were to untap and play Languish. I guess if they play, play Languish, they'll have Euro, too. But we have a lot of stuff to rebuild with. Aether Hub, it's just, if we don't draw Rogue Refiner, Aether Hub is terrible. So we can't really, we can't really do that. Will the Jets go 0 and 16? I hope so. That's a card for Euro. So now I have Euro, but now we just have this thing for a full party. We just killed them. Right? We have Rogue, Warrior. Oh, we have Warrior, Warrior. Man, if, we lose, if we lose this game, I'm going to be really freaking sad. I hate Euro. It's like half, they have to draw a Fatal Push or something, but... Alright, so don't have a full party either way here. Um, because... We have warrior, warrior, rogue. Whatever we play makes them blockable, and then we attack, and they have to have exactly fatal push. So let's we'll just go squad commander and just make a squad. And try and kill them. Don't have fatal push. They don't got it. They're dead. Yes. Take that, Salt Eye. Party's 2-0. Party's 2-0. Man, I did not think we would beat Rakdos, or Jun Sacrifice, and Salt Eye. I did not. I, I am I am tickled pink right now. It's always 
Always good to see you're a loser. We're brought to you by Coalesce Apparel, folks. Take off your Jet shirt and put on a Coalesce shirt. Super comfortable, super awesome designs. Black Friday sales right now, 40% off various items, up to 40% off. And um, normally you can use my promo code GIN10 as well. Check it out, coalesceapparel.shop. Check it. Coalesce Apparel. Look at these designs. Should have played around it, you know? Should have played around it. Take off your damn Jets shirt. Come on, what is this garbage? Mulligan. That's fine. Let's ship Linvala here to keep our green cards. All right, we need to draw land, but Novice Stream is the party stream. Valley land. All right, Let's power on it up. Elf, cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard. I mean, Rogue Refiner into company is pretty good. We sure I'll land here. You're gonna gruel me? You're gonna get stomped? Like, that's fine. They stomp here. We attack the three and play, 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 play Rogue Refiner. Alright, let's draw a freaking land here. Let's draw a freaking land. Come on, Rogue Refiner. Whoop, there it is. They play a 4-4. Four, four. We can beat a 4-4? Four, four? I mean, yeah, this company, right? We have, like, a couple deputies to hit. I guess we don't have many cards that actually, like, pump up the squad here. But we gotta just play company, I think. I'm just gonna main phase it. Refiner and Priest. So, Rogue. It's another Rogue. And we have Rogue Wild Card. So we give us Cleric, Rogue, Wild Card. So we might actually want to take the Warrior so we can jump with the Priest, even though I want to draw a card with Rogue Refiner. Um, priest means we can jump and attack for four. And then we'll, the Pell Collector, uh, I don't know if that's good though. We should maybe just Rogue Refiner and put more stuff in play. Let's draw more cards. Next turn, we can, if we can Deputy and Borrower. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to take Rogue Refiner and Arch Priest. Draw a card. We'll just take up. Then next turn we can like deputy and borrower and petty theft. We draw land and attack for a bunch. Domery. Uh. Okay. They're gonna fight, I guess. I mean, sure. This is honestly pretty great for us. So they're gonna kill my archpriest, which whatever. Now they can't attack. They just say go. And we just kill everything. And I have Petty Theft too. Damn. That's nice. I'll take that. Look at this deck. We're just partying. No, no. Just party, 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 party. Mammoth. You know what I say to this mammoth? You know what I say to this mammoth? You know what I say to this mammoth? Get off my plane. Get out of here. You're dead. Company. Bang. Do it. Ho! Game. Blouses. We're doing it, folks. We're doing it. Um... All right, so we're gonna take out the defenses, I think. Um, we're gonna want our Skyclaves, our Gusts, our extra deputy, and... What do we not want here? P-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta. <laughs> Love that movie, Zeriok. Love that movie. Um, all right, so we gotta cut two cards here. What are we gonna cut? We got deputies, petty thefts. Wouldn't mind cutting mimics, but then we're like short on lands. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 22 lands, kind of low. Um, trap finder's like kind of weak, but we are a little gunked up on three. Rogue finder is, I just like drawing cards, honestly. 
Linval is pretty good too. It's got like a mimic. I think Squad Commander is pretty good. It's got a Trap Finder. Which is like pretty weak. Alright, alright. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah. It's not as exciting as our last hand, but we're gonna keep. Don't go land, land, or elf. Alright, well, it wasn't a land or elf, I guess. Oh, we drew a land? No. No, we definitely didn't need to draw any more lands. Goblin? Sure. Skyclave? I mean, Skyclave is pretty good. Hollow Blade, go. You have stomp me? I'll discard again if you have stomp. Hardboard Live should be on. Magma Spray? Magma Spray? Magma. Um, we gotta pitch again here. We gotta, we gotta kill this goblin, so... Probably Linvala. Linvala or land. Maybe just land. Eh, yeah, just land. All right, so we discarded two car two lands to two for two them with tempo, which is great, honestly. Now you get to Skyclave the Pell Collector, which is also great. Yeah, sure. Archpriest, sure. Doctor Evil. Allow myself to introduce myself. I too like to live dangerously. That's my favorite scene. That's my favorite scene by far. When uh, when the number two or whatever uses his 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 X-ray eyes and they're playing blackjack to hit on nineteen or whatever and get twenty one, and the the dealer's like, "But sir, you have 19. I like to live dangerously. And then Austin shows a five. He's a, a three and a two. He's like, I'll stand. <laughs> I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> uh, that's a funny movie. All right. Uh, let me draw a lander spell here, I guess. Deputy, sure. Deputy. Deputé. All right. I mean, again, we're happy with lander spell next turn, I think. Lanor Elves? That's not impressive. Alright, what is this? What's going on here? Um, we have Warrior, Spirit, uh, Wizard. There are a lot of Wizards. A lot of Wizards. I mean, I'm just gonna jam, right? I don't really want to discard a card to Hollow Blade, honestly. The block with Lanor Elves. I kind of want to keep all these cards. I guess we could just discard the land and play Limbala. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Oh, this is bad. They have Stomp. Okay. Um, that's fine. This is fine. So we still have a deputy in our hand. Pete Skeets, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? All right, so now we're gonna play Linvala, and they'll have to stomp in response, and then we'll play Archpriest. Rogue Fighters been pretty good, honestly. Oh, they have Magma Spray. That, that's better than um, that's better than a uh, than a, a stomp is at least. So they have Questing Beast again, just fine. They have a flyer. I mean, they have like Land Embercleave. We're dead, but whatever. 
Just don't freaking kill me. I mean, we kill them next turn, so... Right, they have land Embercleave, whatever. I am I am pretty damn tired uh, of saying if they have Embercleave, we're dead. I would like to remove that phrase from my vocabulary if possible, but it's okay, it's okay. I've got to stop Dr. Evil. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Rule Spellbreaker, you're dead. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. They're attacking? I mean, is their last card shock? Late for the kitchen, so now for the puppy. What's up, Mantis? Thanks to Risa. Month number two, most important month. They they could have like the the thing. Nah, I'm not playing the SGG. I didn't really have fun the last one I played, honestly. It was so freaking long and so bad to stream. Um, like I, I just also just busy with like I just felt like I should have been working on the house all day and stuff, and I don't know. Um yeah, they could have Spike Field Hazard, they could have the Adventure plus two plus O. Oh. I guess we just block, honestly. We have Lethal anyway, so we'll just block. Let's put the Arch Priest here, just, just take it. Like we have Deputy for this thing and Lethal on board. Why die to some rando card? They probably shouldn't be playing, but are. Give me that. Get off my plane, game. Blouses. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect a 3-0 at this deck. Um, I am pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. We're playing a fourth match. We're playing a fourth. This, this deck's broken. We broke it. We broke the format, folks. Party time. Broke the format. Let's go. Can you imagine when the when Reflector Mage is in like Zendikar? Whatever remastered, like Reflector Mage in this deck, how good that would be, man. Woo, woo, let's go, let's go. Party hard when it's time to party. You know we will party hard. Bone Mulligans, okay. All right, so my mulligan's to six. We'll take that. Collecting some pelts here. Mountain Bomac Warrior. Yeah, sure. Another defense, huh? Kind of like Archpriest go with defense up. It's kind of concealed because we had to shock twice. And obviously it blocks up my courier really well. I'd like to draw a land, play Hollow Blade with the with the defense up too. It's like, it's like a quilt. Like under the courier. So we just have a quilt down here. Play stomp. Play stomp. Play stomp. All right, land. Let's draw land, please. Hmm. <laughs> Usually, like half the hollow blade here. We can't hold up defense anymore. So. Just jam. We'll trade Archpriest for Burning Tree. I think it's fine. Alright. Okay. Okay. Spell Pierce OP. Oh no, red. Hmm. Bow my courier number two. No. 
tax. We draw land. We draw land. All right, so we kind of want all these cards, realistically. Um, petty theft is pretty cool. Probably want like the second white. Squad commander seems awesome. I think we're gonna leave the hollow blade back on D. I also don't want to don't discard a card to it right now. So, how often is defense better than spell pierce? I mean, if there's one creature in play, it's spell pierce. If there's more than one creature, it's insane. So, all right, and then they're up. Those have the ability to petty theft something and play defense, and ideally. Gang. Sure. Blouses. Okay. And now we get to bring in Skyclave, Skyclave, Gust, Gust, Deputy, Knight, Knight. Let's take out the Trap Finders. Defense is good. I don't know if I want a ton of them. Um, Pop Tart Kitten says, Hello, Mr. Davis. Always love your work. Your decks are always super fun and unique. Have a great day and stay safe so for the pandemic. Pop tar kitten. Thank you, Aww. my friend. I appreciate that. I know. I know. Jet shirt. I know. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? <laughs> um. All right. What are we, what are we, what are we cutting here? We got to cut some cards. Cut a mimic or two. I think this card's pretty bad. And like we're on the draw, and like we don't need to make our, our fourth land drop. I think. Um. And then. I guess, actually, Borrower's not great. I don't think Petty Theft's actually that good. Now, we actually have, like, real removal in our deck. We have two Knight of Autumn, two Gust, two Skyclave, four Deputy. And maybe we'll shave a defense. Um, these red decks typically aren't that spell-based. And while countering Stomp, or removal spell, or Ambercleave is a pretty, pretty big game, we don't need to have that effect that often. So, I think I like this. A Fantasy League going? Um, I need to win every week to make the playoffs. I've had so many rough weeks. Skyclave is really good, but I think you want to be linear in the game ones. Like, obviously, the 1 3 is just better. It's a Taft. Colorless and Historic. It's cool, but, like, it loses pretty bad to some stuff. Uh, I can't keep this hand. Can we? I don't think we can keep this hand. If we literally just drew any. We, like, if you told me, Jim. Jim. You didn't hear it, did you? Jim, I promise you, you will draw any card that costs one or two in your first two draw steps. I would snap keep this end. Um, and sometimes you got to have a little faith, I think. I'm going to keep. We have pain-free lands. Um, these are our only two sanctums. We, so we have perfect mana. Um, I'm going to keep. We're on the draw. We just literally draw any card that costs one or two. We have our first draw step and our second draw steps. Two draws. To draw any card that costs one or two. I'm keeping. Let's go. I believe. Oh, my courier. Sure. Here it comes. Any card that costs one or two. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Notice I said I said one or two, not less than three. Or he's dead. Okay. Any card that costs one or two. Cut. Right. It's okay. It's okay. We can knight of autumn to kill the bowman courier. We're getting monkeyed. Imagine if they had Embercleave here. I think we just kill it with the knight of autumn, right? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> we had that last turn, like, we were in phenomenal shape. But I think we're still fine. So we're going to Sanctum. I think we just Knight and kill the Bowman Courier, honestly. Set up for Company next turn. We have Company into Rogue Refiner Hollowblade. Uh-oh. I hear a jingle. I hear a jingle. Y'all hear that? Sean. Robert Rich. 
That's freaking great. <gasps> Who's here? Who's here? The Karn man is here. Karn man. Oh, no, hey, no, Karn no. Karn, 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 Karn. What's up, bud? Is he going out? Yeah, he's... Is yeah, he going out? He, yeah, I already took him out to potty and he's going on his Oh, yeah, he's going for a walk now? Did he go to the bathroom? Yeah. Did you good? Yeah. All right, Karn. Go for your walk, all right? Got him? Here. Make sure you hold on to him. He's he's squirmy. You got him? He's got him. And his name is John. Karn says bye. All right, so... um. Now we've drawn Shocklands. I mean, we're just casting company here. Just gonna cast it on their turn. You don't have any haste things or anything. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say go. We gotta like attack this Chandra too, unfortunately. But just gonna hope for a good company. That's Karn. We 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 uh we rescued him from a rescue uh on Tuesday. So we've had him for like five days now. Yeah, I know, I know. man, we just fourth land go. Like we just we just don't have anything. It's so unfortunate. Um, I think we actually just take this and end step company so we can pressure Chandra better. Like trying to block a monkey's worthless. So he's a mutt. I don't know what he is. His mom was a Chihuahua. We think he's like a beagle or something. He's just a filthy mutt. Yep. There are many others who also wanted to rescue him, but luckily we, we got there first. So getting a getting his, his he's amazing. Like I'm not a huge dog person, but he's been unbelievable. He's yep. been potty down. training. He's been super chill. Um, he's just been awesome, and we we're very fortunate to get an awesome dog. He's only two months old. So, all right, big company. We need a big hit here, folks. That's good. That's good. Skyclave and Deputy. Um, we gotta kill this Chandra. We also wanna... Hmm. If they have a way to kill the Skyclave, it's pretty bad. Can, like, Deputy Robber the Rich? If they have Stomp, it, like, sucks, honestly. But we could just Deputy Vishandra, I guess, directly. And hope they know what to kill a shot. How about to kill it? I kind of don't hate that, honestly. We just get like Deputy Rogue Refiner and just like, keep like bustling along here. Let's do that. Uh, so we're gonna take the Chandra directly. Skyclave should kill a Chandra, but give them, like, give them a 4 4 if they have Stomp is terrible. Alright, we just cannot stop drawing Shock Lens. Um, Linvala. Resolves quickly. They have one card in hand. They have a rogue too. And a pirate. Arr. Send rogue refiner. They're blocking? That's a weird block. Sure. Alright, we're going to seven. Um, we're saying go. If we get to untap, I'm feeling pretty good about this game. They're also flooding a bit too. Red, red, in the pool. Yeah, we have plenty of fuel for Hollow Blade, that's for sure. We don't, we don't want any of these shock lands. Shatter Skull Smashing. So this just this just kills Linvala. We're gonna Linvala here and give all, give all of our creatures indestructible. We wanna keep our Deputy Eliza and Chandra back, obviously. Lin Bala in the house. Alright, what's that? Hello! Bingo! Oh, I think he works! Oh my god! Um. I mean, we just jam company, right? I'm just gonna main phase it. Just do it. Just freaking cast the card. Alright. Pelt Collector, Paragon. We have double Archpreneur. Now we have Wizard, Rogue, Warrior. Well, that's two clerics here. That's pretty. It's pretty funny to go for two one ones, but I think that's what we're gonna do. Or two one, you mean two one mana creatures? All right, so we're gonna give uh, 
flying, plus one, plus one. There's 17. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, sure. We're in pretty good shape here. It'll take a lot to kill us. Alright, so we got the Rogue Refiner. I mean the Rogue Refiner. The, uh, the Desperation Robber of the Rich. And they hit an Archpriest of Iona. Oh, they already had an Archpriest. They hit a land. Never mind. So, easy block. Discard. Archpriest is great. Um, a 1 mana 4 2 with upside is pretty freaking good. Game. Blouses. Throw a freaking party. Throw a freaking party. After it was all over. You should play one more. We took us in the house to serve his pancakes. We want to do one more. Who wants to do one more? Raise your hand in chat. Who wants to do one more? Raise your hand in chat. Follow the stream. Hit that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Who wants to see another match? Who wants to party more? We're 4 0. Who wants to go for the 5 0? The Magic Online League trophy. Hmm? What hand is that? That's not my hand. Dana has a hand too? Cool. Who wants it? Am I seeing enough hype? Follow the stream. Watching on YouTube. You're in the future. Let's go. Let's go. This is the deck they were worried about when they made base camp come in tapped. Never walk away from a table when you're on a heater. That's bad. That's kind of bad gambling advice, actually. It's also the phrase, quit when you're ahead, you know, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. And, uh... Let's go. Let's go. Jack Tasket. Easy way to fix that. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, if this is John's sacrifice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret queuing another match here. Alright. Uh, they took Deputy. Yeah, that's not great. Alright. It's a trap. What do you got for me? Salt Eye. Okay. Thoughtseize. Alright, I mean, they're freaking going to 10 already? Like, I don't have Fatal Push, too. Don't have Fatal Push, too. Don't have Fatal... Don't... Don't have Fatal Push, too. Um, cards on the table. Let's put our cards on the table. We can't win a long game. Not a chance. So, here's our cards. You're at eight. Go. There's no Master Rule spell that costs three. So. Rogue Refiner. Growth Spiral. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. This is the first time someone wearing a Jets anything has ever won anything. <laughs> now I'm dizzy. Alright, um, so Salt Eye stuff. We want our defense, and what else did we board last time? I don't remember. We just put, oh yeah, the, cler the clerics are really good, right? Um, Deputy doesn't seem very good. What else did he bring in? Hmm. It's coming back again? Again? Raise, put your cards in chat if you want to summon Karn. Jim D. Puppy. I think it should be like. It's definitely going to be a channel points thing. Summon Karn. Summon Karn. Turn three Karn. Um, this is fine. I guess. They're summoning Karn. They're summoning Karn. All right, here he is. Here he is. Here's the Karnster. Everybody wants the Karn. I'm, I have to be here. 
Boo! <laughs> don't, don't, don't chew on that. That's not for you. Look it. Who's so handsome? You're in chat. Look at you. You're everywhere. You're everywhere. You're everywhere. All right. We got a hand here. We can keep this hand. It's not great. We can He's keep gonna it. Cheer you on. Um. I think we just leave up defense and just say go, so we can counter like a thought season thing. He's Wait. got his ball on his shoulder. Cheer me on. Cheer me on. Huh? He's also cheering. What's he chewing on? Why are you chewing that? That's your identification. If you get lost. Elsewhere says, slobber on Jim's shoulder and let the pup do it too. <laughs> All right. Three tap lands, go. Invala. All right, so we're going to jam. And company too. Just like Paragon here and leave up our, our defense probably. What are they casting on? I don't know. Spiral. Yes, yes, yes. Right, we're gonna dunk on him. We're gonna dunk on him, Karn. Dunk on him. Get him, Karn. Get him, get him. Oh, we're gonna dunk on him so hard. Get him. What's up, Juan Love? Get them, Karn. Yes, it's taken a while. We finally have a house, and we were able to get Karn. And thoughts oh, these. God, you. That was rude. Karn, cover your ears. Um, this is gonna this is gonna resolve. I can still hear you, man. So they can they can push uh they can push through a spell if they want, but not by not taking defense, but all of our cards are still good, so like worst case would be like take defense, play language, and we still have company, so right, Karn's thanks, thanks Juan, appreciate that. Karn's gonna see everybody later. Ooh, yeah, Henny's expertise. It's a little extra value. Suburbia achieved, yeah, basically. No pick offense, bye Karn. No offense, do not pick it. I mean, they have three cards in hand. We're just jamming company here, right? Just guarantee it resolves. Yeah, I'm just gonna play. Actually, I guess we could like, ugh, man. We don't need depth. We have all of our cards are proactive. We'll just do it. Just make sure it resolves. Puck like their arch priest mimic. That's not very good. I'm just getting two one drops here. <laughs> Not the best company of all time, but extinction event tilt. The fourth trio. All right. Well, here's all my cards. Here's all my cards. Extinction event. Euro. I mean, we can just bounce the Euro, obviously, so it isn't that bad, but we're probably in pretty big trouble this game. Discard. Discard into double mass removal. <sighs> Alright. I mean, they've got one card left over. Oh. It's Euro. Euro. I see how it is. And they're shocking. So they have Fatal Push too. Oh my god. Oh my god. The humanity. What a stupid turn. Stupid deck. Stupid person. I don't like them. Come on. You can hollow blade. Let's, let's, we can do this. We can still win this game. We're not dead yet. Any thoughts on a couple of Euros in our deck? No. Euro, Euro doesn't like the party. Euro likes to... Euro's the police. Euro's a cop. Euro wants to crash the party and break it up. Borrower? And 
more? I imagine we're getting pushed again. Shark Typhoon. Oh, we're dead. All right, we're going to the next game. Tough game there. I mean, discard spell, double mass removal spell into Euro. Like, all right, on the play, you got me. You got me. It's fine. We got this, though. We got this. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Big match here. Big match. All right, here we go. <sighs> Come on. Oh, really? Y'all, you see, y'all wanted to play the... This is the fourth match or the fifth match. Y'all wanted to play the fifth match. You knew this was going to happen. Like, you, you should have known this was going to happen. As I was saying, you know, you, you got your chips. You know, it's okay to get up and walk away from the table. All right. All right. Uh, we're in big doo-doo. We're in big doo-doo. Big doo-doo here. Okay, that wasn't bad. They're shocking. That's that's not good. Sanctum. All right. All right. I mean, we ain't dead yet. We got a curve. No growth spiral and no play. Okay. Okay. Don't push me. No. No. Hmm. I mean, they showed us expertise and extinction event. Our best chance to win might actually just be jamming. Um... Like, we probably can't beat Extinction Event or Yehani's Expertise anyway. I think we're just putting all our, our cards on the table here and just hoping they don't have it. Like, we probably can't beat it anyway. Let's give ourselves the maximum chance to win if they don't have it. I'm not going to look, though. I can't look. I can't watch this. There's no way we can watch this. I'm going to go up here now. No! All right, whatever. Y'all flew too close to the sun, all right? Y'all flew too close to the sun. Y'all wanted to play match five. We were 4-0 and just rolling along. And y'all wanted to play the... Y'all wanted to play the extra match. Why do they even play this card? Uh, this card's been cast twice and nothing's been cast off of it. Flew too close to the sun. Too close to the sun. It's okay. It's okay. What's a song by, it's a band Thrice, and they're like really in the wheelhouse of bands that I like, genre-wise. They're just like, I don't like them that much, I don't know why. But they have that song about, uh, about Icarus and flying close to the sun. Uh, what's it called? The Melting Point of Wax. How's it go? Um, uh, I don't know offhand. Right, I don't play anymore. Alright, they got us. They got us. They got us. Four and one. We're defeated. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, yes, Mab, you can. If it's like the dude who, who does the, the Guile theme with this with his mouth and stuff. 
So yeah, so we'll take the four and one. We'll take the four and one. Uh, deck was super cool. Played a few bonus. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I get gems, yay. Um, we'll take the four and one. We'll take the four and one. Deck's kind of sweet. I mean, company's really, really good. Um, the Rogue Refiners were actually really good. I actually liked them a lot, being able to draw cards. I think this card just sucks, honestly. Uh, this card, like, it's in so many decks, and it's, like, literally never good for me. Um, so, what do we have? 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22 lands. I think 23 lands and more Rogue Refiners is fine. Because we'll just draw lands off the Rogue Refiners, hopefully. Um, that's it. There's no, there's no promise of safety with these second net. Yeah. How's it go? We were safe. Na, 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 na. I don't remember the song. Whatever. But uh, deck's super cool. Uh, I'm very happy this deck came when it worked, turned out well because it was really, really fun. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Super sweet. So we have more decks to play. But um, YouTube folks, tip for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on, uh, on the party here. Party!